They were old and new speedboats of every conceivable kind. But have you ever made a jet boat? You can, with a few simple things from around the home. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a balloon, first of all. That's your jet motor. You'll need some sort of plastic tube. You could use part of a drinking straw, or better still, use the plastic from a pen, or even an eyedropper. It's best if you can find a tube that has a wide opening one end and a narrow opening the other end. That helps the jet effect. You'll also need a lump of plasticine and a small rubber band and the boat itself, which is a, a container from margarine or butter, plastic container of some sort. Here's what you do. You start off with the balloon and you place it over the wide end of the plastic tubing in a position like that. Then with one of the rubber bands, you put it around the end of the balloon and twist it around several times until the balloon is held securely in place on the pen tube. There we are, that's it. There's the motor. Now the next thing you'll need to do is to cut a small hole in one end of the butter or margarine container. I've already done that. Just big enough to fit the pen tube through. And next you place the pen tube through that opening. There we are, push it through and make sure that it points downwards slightly and then get the piece of plasticine and this is important place it underneath the pen tube and also on top of it. It serves two purposes. One is it provides a bit of weight at the back of the boat and that keeps the jet outlet under the water. Secondly, and this is just as important, it makes sure that that hole is well and truly sealed that the boat doesn't link, leak. There we are. So it's all in place. Now all that remains to do is to uh, Fill up the balloon with compressed air. That's easy to do. Just blow the balloon up, like so. Now pinch the balloon. Check that the tube is going to go below the surface of the boat, under the water, and then gently lower it in the, lower it in the pool and let go of the balloon. And away it goes, a jet powered boat. Now it's going fairly much in a straight line there. If you want it to turn circles, that's also very easy. Blow it up once again. And this time, make sure that the tube comes out at an angle. Just bend it slightly and then readjust the plasticine. Make sure that it still forms a watertight seal. Let it in, let it in the pool again the bath and around it goes this time circling for as long as the air lasts. Now one of the problems with a compressed air jet boat like this is that the air doesn't last very long. Air is not the only thing you can use in your jet motor. You can also make a water jet boat. Very similar procedure but here you may find it more convenient to start with one of these small water bomb balloons. You may have seen them before. Very tiny. Normally they're filled up with water and then thrown at your friends. But in this case, we'll use one of these as the jet engine for the boat. So the first thing to do is to place the end of it over the tap and then uh, turn it on. I have a pump tap here, but a normal kitchen tap or bathroom tap is fine. And you fill it up with water like that and then insert the tube. This time I'm using the glass tube from an eyedropper. Put the balloon over the wide end of that and then, once again, into the boat. Here's a boat already prepared with the weighted plasticine. You may find you need differing amounts of plasticine for boats of different sizes and boats with different engines. Now this time, when we let go of the balloon, what will happen here is the water will be forced out the back of the jet. Now that will normally happen under the water. When I release the balloon, away it goes. Silently, slowly, but because it's using water as its engine, it'll keep going for quite a long time.